This morning, a school staff member is facing criminal charges. What well, we're learning about the investigation into child abuse allegations. Plus, an opportunity to give back this holiday season. The meaning behind Adopt a Family. And we are looking at uh, some flurries left over in Madison after dumping a coating of snow overnight. We are talking about some warmer temperatures later this week. More coming up. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on this snowy morning. Uh, I'm Leah Lynch. I'm, I'm Chris Stanford. Kelly Slip has got that snowy first worn forecast. Uh, just enough to kind of give everything a light coating. How are the roads looking? Well, the roads, some of the secondary roads might be still a little bit snow covered because it came down fairly heavily for a very brief time early this morning, say around 3, 4 o'clock. Uh, but now just a few flakes of snow left over in Madison. So the accumulating snow is done with, but what's left over is not done with because the uh, temperatures are right around 32 degrees. So those elevated roads, secondary roads might still have some snow cover on them. The main roads generally wet this morning. The bulk of the area of snow is now even starting to wind down here in Janesville and Beloit, headed down towards Chicago. There may see an inch or two of snow, so there might be a little bit more problem headed that way. 32 at Madison, we're just about freezing in Middleton at 33, Wanakee 33, and Fishburg currently 33 as well. Clouds will linger, a few flurries here and there throughout the morning hours. As we go in the afternoon, mostly cloudy skies, we head into the upper 30s, so temperatures later this morning will generally be above freezing. But some of those secondary roads, those elevated surfaces may be snow covered yet this morning. Uh, looks like it might be a little bit slushy here at 8 o'clock, just wet roads expected by the noon hour. We do have a more significant snowmaker on the way for the weekend, or a potential snowmaker. We'll have more on that coming up in about 15 minutes. Thank you very much, Kelly. We appreciate it. We're continuing to keep an eye on area roads for you. This is the map from Wisconsin's DOT. Things looking pretty pink, really across southern Wisconsin. Pink on this map means slippery stretches, really north, west, and east, even south of us here, seeing some slick area roads. We're going to be bringing you first worn weather and traffic updates every 10 minutes here on the program. We'll keep you updated throughout the day. Now to some developing news this morning in Iowa County. The Sheriff's Office says an Iowa Grant School District staff member should be charged with physical abuse of a child following a school incident two weeks ago. The Iowa County Sheriff's Office has referred charges against 30-year-old Kirby Grutz. It stems from an investigation into an incident at Iowa Grant Elementary School on Tuesday, November 21st. The Sheriff's Office is not elaborating on what happened here, though. The school district is also conducting its own internal investigation. Now, despite our policy not to name people accused of crimes until they've been formally charged, we are naming Grutz because of the nature of the alleged crime and his role working with children. To more new information now, Madison police are looking for a pair of robbers accused of attacking a Little Caesars employee. It happened on Madison's West Side Sunday night. Investigators say two people showed up to get their pizza after the restaurant closed. The duo ordered the pizza from a location on Gammon Road earlier in the night, but then got there too late to pick it up. So they waited outside at the restaurant until that employee left and punched them multiple times. Police say the pair also struck the employee with their vehicle. No arrests have been made. One of our top stories on Channel3000.com this morning, human remains found more than 40 years ago in rural Indiana are now identified as those of an Oregon woman. 20-year-old Connie Lorraine Christensen was last seen in Nashville, Tennessee in April of 1982. In December of that year, hunters discovered the then unidentified remains near Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Since then, the remains have been stored at the University of Indianapolis. Thanks to new forensic genealogy, researchers match DNA from those remains to the DNA of two of Christensen's relatives. Officials say she died from a gunshot wound. Her homicide case remains unsolved. 6.03 now, there is an evacuation order underway in southern Gaza this morning, where Israel is expanding its ground offensive to find hostages. The military has issued an interactive map we're showing you here on your screen, outlining evacuation zones for the nearly 2 million displaced Gazans. But... Few can see it because of a near complete internet blackout. Both Israel and the U.S. say they believe Hamas is holding 130 hostages in the south. We request a meeting with the War Cabinet to receive updates on the fate of our family members now. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. Right now, Hamas is refusing to release civilian women who should have been part of the agreement. The State Department says Hamas won't release those women because it doesn't want them to talk about what's happening to them while in captivity. The war in the Middle East, meanwhile, bringing together a group here in Madison for the first time in three years. 
For close to 30 years, the group has gathered at a Capitol Square corner urging for peace. You might know them as the Honk for Peace group. Well, after disbanding in 2020 because of the pandemic, the group now reassembling. Participants say the ongoing wars, both in the Middle East and Ukraine, have prompted the need to come back together. They say their goal is to put pressure on those in power. There's definitely more to it than just saying peace. Um, we need to really pressure and continue pressuring our government officials to stop funding so much military um, involvement in war all around the world. The group traces its roots back to the 1980s during the Reagan administration. Their hope is to bring back the Monday that rallies uh, happen on a more regular basis. To campaign 2024 now, the next GOP debate is on the books for this week, and the four candidates are ready to take the stage. Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Chris Christie will face off in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It'll be the smallest debate stage lineup so far this year. Frontrunner Donald Trump will skip the event in favor of a Florida fundraiser. There are now just six weeks to go until the Iowa caucuses that open up the 2024 GOP nomination calendar. 6.05 now. The holidays can bring people together, but they're often hard for families torn apart by domestic violence. A local resource needs your help to make sure that these families still have a good Christmas. In a season of Giving Story, our Brady Mallory shows us how you can adopt a family. Taylor Larson can't quite put her finger on it. But Christmas is even more special. I just think it's a magical time of year. When she lends a helping hand. And I love giving gifts to family and friends, but I also like to help community members in need. Larson is doing some extra shopping because she and her friends have adopted a local family to give Christmas gifts to. She has their list and she's checked it twice because... She just wants to do something nice. I don't want any kid to ever feel like um, othered because of, of their circumstances. Those circumstances can lead to domestic abuse intervention services or days in Madison. Many of the folks who are coming into our shelter specifically are folks who are dealing with uh, such severity of violence. Um, most of them are fleeing potentially lethal situations. Families who come here might not be able to afford to buy Christmas presents. I need you to put your finger there. So or I planning for the holidays just might not be possible. That's why Days has an adopt a family program. It matches families here with donors in the community. Kind of bring a little happiness and joy. The families submit holiday wish lists, and the donors buy things like toys, books, cards, and more. Now I'll take that ah. and I'll put that in here and pretend that I did the work. <laughs> Staff members, moonlighting as elves, do all the wrapping and boxing so a parent and their children have something to open Christmas morning. I can remember a woman years ago um, who came to get her adoptive family gifts and I brought out one bag of things and she said, okay, thank you, and was about to leave. I said, oh no, you have six more bags. And she just started crying right in our lobby. Days needs your help to make this happen and adopt other families. It just takes one thing off her plate. Larson says it's easy to make a child's wish list come true, and most of them request everyday things that may not seem like gifts to most of us. Some of the things on the wish list were those necessities um, to get through a cold winter, like a snowsuit, hat and mittens, and um, a grocery store gift card, things that a lot of us take for granted. For families escaping domestic violence, Christmas may not come in shiny bows or pretty paper, but Larson says this is your chance to give them gifts of joy and kindness wrapped up in love. It's just the, the season of giving back and knowing that we are all here in Madison supporting each other and helping each other and knowing that we have each other's back should anyone out, fall on hard times. Brady Mallory, News 3 Now. So remember, you can get together with a group of friends or family and split the cost of adopting a family. There are still several families in need of adoption. You can learn more about how to sign up by visiting Dace's website. We've included a link under this story on channel3000.com. 609 coming up in sports. The Packers riding high on their current win streak. What the players say is the reason for the recent success. And we did have a coating of snow pass through the Madison area. Some of the roads are a little bit wet. This is the belt line right now at Mineral Point. Some of those secondary roads do have some snow on them. We'll talk about a warm-up later this weekend. Another storm system this weekend coming up.
Plus, we're live with a passport that's going to help you explore southern Wisconsin and also visit some new establishments in the 608. This time of year, we gather, we celebrate, and we remember the things that matter most. For us, that's you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care because the way you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health, know how much you matter to this world. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tervaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tervaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tervaya. Stella uses AT&T. Abby has Spectrum One. With AT&T, Stella pays $110 a month for her internet and mobile. Plus monthly fees. Ouch. With Spectrum One, Abby gets internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free unlimited mobile line. That's a good deal. I know. Abby saves big, over $75 a month. That's over $900 in savings. I'm switching to Spectrum. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store to get Spectrum One. Volunteering offers more than benefits for those served. Volunteers reap health benefits from the time they give. RSVP of Dane County's Driver Services Program needs volunteers to provide rides to medical appointments and deliver meals to older adults in Dane County. Ideal candidates are of legal driving age, love to drive, and meet new people. Schedules are very flexible, and volunteer drivers will use their own vehicles and are reimbursed for mileage. To make a difference this holiday season, please contact RSVP of Dane County today. No matter how you say it, the meaning remains the same. Happy Holidays! Vesowik Shfjont! Aidakum Saeed! Froefes Tage! Nawad? Iubarwako! Maligayang Pagbati! Mabuhay! Felices Fiestas! Buone Feste! Tiara Kwaila! From our family at Gruber Law Offices to yours, Happy Holidays! One call, that's all! Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Tuesday! Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $10.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. It's the season of giving, and News 3 Now shows you how people and organizations throughout our community are helping those in need and making holiday wishes come true. Watch News 3 Now for these special stories during this season of giving. Brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. You're watching the Emmy Award-winning News 3 Now This Morning. We have a live look outside this morning on our weather patio where things are looking pretty festive this morning. Kelly says we should just see a bit of a light dusting across the roads and in your front and backyards this morning. He's keeping an eye on some slippery roads. The Wisconsin DOT has slippery roads uh, listed for most of southern Wisconsin. So take it slow on your way to work. We're going to keep an eye on your first worn traffic. Kelly's going to update your first worn weather coming up in about five minutes. Looks so nice, doesn't it's it? It's beautiful. Oh, I'd love to see that this time of year. Hey, it's 613. Time to see what's going on in the 608 this morning. And today we're showing you how you can support local establishments over the course of the next year. Josh Breider's live in Verona with this story this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're live at Stone Porch Ale House this morning, one of the newest establishments, a part of the Mad City Cocktails Passport. We featured this on the program here before. This is a great way for you to get out and support your local establishments right here in the Madison area and also Rock County. Here to talk more about it this morning is Greg Melzer. Greg, good morning to you. Good morning to you, good young to man. Good to see you uh, once more. We're making this an annual tradition. I hope so. I you hope know, it keeps happening. After 15 years, why not? It's so successful, and I think what's amazing about this is you're on a mission to support local bars and Absolutely. establishments across southern Wisconsin, and, I mean, you're doing it year after year. I'm doing my best, that's for sure, and it doesn't matter whether you're a dive bar or somebody that's a really high-class place. We can help bring new people into your, into your 
location. Fill some bar stools and booths. You know, I love that. And speaking of new people, one of your newest establishments is right where we're sitting this morning. This is Stone Porch Ale House. It's so amazing for you to be able to see, you know, you have some long time people that have been a part of this for yep. the last 13 years, but also some new ones too. We, yeah, we've had, uh, we have about 90% of our people repeat year after year, but that extra 10% is always so fun to see, you know, who's new? And I have a lot of people that email me like, whoa, you, well, you got them in, that's wonderful. And, and I, that's what it's all about, is being able to get out and maybe try something new that you didn't know was in your own backyard. Right, and that's what's neat about it, is it does get you out of your comfort zone, go explore new places, and sometimes find some new favorite places, which is fun. I love that. So let's talk about the passports themselves, because when you flip through, uh, you'll notice a lot of uh, different discounts. Buy one, get ones, uh, some food uh, yeah. prices in there too. You know, this is a great way for you to get out and try new things. Absolutely. It's also a fantastic stocking stuffer, because whether it's Rock County cocktails at 20 bucks or Mad City cocktails at 25 bucks, you're not breaking the bank and they'll remember you all year, because they're going to save all year. At, between both of them, there's 150 different places that we have. And this is a fun thing to be able to do with your friends, too. You can get out and explore all across southern Wisconsin. There's a lot of book club members that go around and get their books signed at different places while they're doing the scavenger hunt, and that's fun. Uh, and actually, we, when I talk to most of the people, we have dive bar tours, and we're actually having our launch party for the new books. Uh, in Rock County, it's at Sidelines on Saturday, this Saturday, the 9th, from 3 to 6. And then next Saturday, the 16th, is uh, at headquarters, headquarters in... Oregon from 3 to 6. And this is a great way to, right ahead of the holidays, a perfect stocking stuffer. I mean, you look at the size of this, this is a perfect gift that will last all year round. Yep, and they'll remember you year round. Pocket or purse, absolutely. I love it. Well, Greg, as always, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it this morning. I appreciate you. And of course, you know, we're at Stone Porch Ale House. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about their new place here in Verona. They opened up in September, so they're still newish here to the Verona area. And you may recognize the owner when we speak to her coming up here around 645, guys. So a lot of fun here in the 608. We love supporting local right here in the Madison area. You know, we do. Great gift idea. Yeah, it is. Good stocking stuff. Thanks, Josh. All right, at 616, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. There's his email and his social media handles. All right, let's get an update on the snow outside. Kelly Slifka is out on the patio. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, we still have some of these very fine flakes that are falling here on the uh, patio. It's not really accumulating, but it is reducing visibilities a little bit here in the uh, Madison area. Also, we do have the leftover snow that we got overnight. It actually came down at a pretty good clip between 2 and about 4 o'clock. But otherwise, just a few flakes. The bulk of the area of uh, snow is now actually moved out of Janesville, the Boyd area, down there towards Chicago. But still a few flakes of snow here and there. Uh, not a whole lot, but most of it right now over Chicago seeing the bulk of this snow this morning. But we do have some leftover snow showers and flurries out there this morning. Uh, that's what we can expect to move on through. All right, some flurries this morning. Uh, otherwise, we are looking at uh, some side roads that are a little bit snow covered. So allow a little extra time. Maybe head out the door a few minutes earlier than you normally normally would just to allow some of that extra time. You never know what you might run into, especially once you get on those elevated roads, those bridges and overpasses. Then we're talking about some very mild weather. We're looking at upper 40s and low 50s by Thursday and Friday. That's out ahead of our next storm system. Now this one came out of Canada. The one that may be affecting us this weekend is coming from the south and west. Those are the ones that typically are a lot stronger because they can get some of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That's what we're going to watch for the upcoming weekend. Here's that clipper system just uh, passing now south of uh, Wisconsin, moving towards Chicago. So once again, not a lot of snow out of it, just a coating, but enough to create some of those problems on some of those secondary roads. As I mentioned, still has to have some of this really fine snow. You can see our sky cam. The visibilities are down because of some of that. 37 expected today. Close to our average, the sun coming up at 713. Not expecting a lot of that sun, even though most of the uh, flurries will come to an end this morning. We're looking at upper 30s, though, so the snow should gradually melt throughout the afternoon. We're talking about that weekend storm. So this is going to be a strong storm system for someone. The question is, is it going to be us or is it going to be down to our south? Either way, it looks like initially it will be warm enough to start out as rain on Saturday. But some of that colder air working on the back side of it could bring us some snow. Once again, it's still a, a question on where this system actually winds up. But you can see on this computer model, starting out as some rain, eventually Saturday night into Sunday, changing over to some snow. And that's when we would expect accumulation. Once again, this is a long ways off. 
not quite ready to give you any kind of a prediction as far as snow accumulation. 32 right now in Madison, 34 in Janesville, so we're hovering right around it. Freezing this morning. Should get up to uh, 37, so a lot of the snow will be melting throughout the day. 40 tomorrow, but there are those low 50s. We'll be breezy with that southerly wind out ahead of that storm that brings that mix of rain and snow on Saturday, changing to all snow before ending by Sunday afternoon. The transfer portal era of college football is the wild, wild west, and it's incredibly unpredictable. But when Shimray DK announced he'd be using his final year of eligibility elsewhere yesterday, it took everyone by surprise. DK, a Waukesha native, grew up dreaming of playing for his home state Badgers, but saw his numbers decline dramatically in 2023. Fellow wide receiver Skylar Bell tossed his name in the transfer portal, too. In a span of just six weeks, the Packers went from hard to watch to must-see TV. And Sunday's win over the defending Super Bowl champs proved this isn't just a love story. The Packers are legit. But the winning, you could argue, it's because of love. He's been brilliant over the Packers' three-game win streak. And suddenly, Green Bay has a 70% chance to make the playoffs. And it might not just stop there. Guys, a limit. I'm not putting a, a limit on what we can do. Um, I think I really think we're just getting better and better every week. Everyone's getting more comfortable. I mean, I think this is a really good team. Um, and when we play at our best, you know, we're a tough team to beat. I just want to say, too, that I got to put, put some respect on 10 name. Like, he, he balling. He balling. The only word I can think of is extraordinary. Uh, you know, I think that his, his comfortability, his confidence, and just his ability to make plays, just, you know, we're just seeing more and more every single week. And with Sunday's win, Matt LaFleur improved to 16-0 and as the Packers head coach in the month of December. The incredible streak could continue, too. Next up for the Packer, three of the league's worst teams in the Giants, Buccaneers, and the Panthers. After knocking off number three Marquette on Saturday, Wisconsin men's basketball found their way into the top 25 for the first time this year. The now 23rd ranked Badgers are winners of five straight. And they have two big, raucous road tests on the horizon. They play at Michigan State today before traveling to Tucson to play number one Arizona on Saturday. And speaking of rankings, after sweeping Ohio State this weekend, the Wisconsin men's hockey team stays at six in this week's USCHO poll for the third straight week. Meanwhile, after splitting their series with Minnesota Duluth, the Badger women are now the nation's third ranked team. That's your morning sports fix. Have a top notch Tuesday. You too, Andrew. Still ahead, an affordable way to travel home for the holidays. How your family could save some money. Stay with us. We're back after this. Watch News 3 Now at 5 with Eric, Susan, and Gary. Weeknights. Save with holiday hot deals. Fresh ground beef, $2.98 for a one-pound roll. Tombstone, DiGiorno's Classic Crust, or Jack's Rising Crust Pizza, $2.99. And six-pack Coke products, $2.99 each when you buy four, only at hy V. In a Class 3 casino, you're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win, ever. And in a Class 2 casino, the players play against each other, and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a Class 2 casino where someone has to win. How about this time? Gaming Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Interested in an electric vehicle? Connect with the team that is leading the charge, Berkshire Automotive. Whether it's EVs like Lyric, Lightning, Hummer, ID4, or hundreds of others, Berkshire has the largest selection of electric vehicles in Wisconsin and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Berkshire Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric.
At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here. Then give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. Save every day this holiday with Perks Prices. Hy-Vee Shredded Cheese, H. Perks Price, $1.99. Chiquita Bananas, H. Perks Price, 39 cents a pound. And Fresh Chicken Breasts, H. Perks Price, $2.48 a pound. Sign up for Hy-Vee Perks today. Trending this morning, a way for you to save some money if you have a college student that can head home for the holidays. Amazon's got a deal going on. It's for Amazon student members. Uh, domestic flights for just 25 bucks well, round trip. Uh, it's in partnership with Student Universe. The discounted flights will be available this morning. A thousand flights today, tomorrow, and the day after for 25 bucks a piece. Pretty smart marketing ploy, if you ask me. Right. Uh, you can get a six-month trial membership to Student Prime or Prime Student. Uh, if you go and sign up for it, if your your student doesn't have that membership, and then you forget to cancel it, but maybe you get a <laughs> twenty-five dollar flight. It's, it's worth the ten extra bucks you. that you have to pay for right. that extra month. Twenty-five dollar so. flight. That's true. Okay. Kelly is keeping an eye on the first warm weather out there. Yeah, we do have a, some of the uh, snow showers yet this morning, mainly just some flurries here in Mass. I know it's not really being picked up on Doppler track, but trust me, there are a few flakes out there, mostly accumulating snow down to our south. So we can expect just a few flurries this morning, but some of those side roads are a little bit snow covered, a little bit slick. They'll be slushy this morning, but looking at dry weather for the afternoon. Chance of more snow this weekend. Kelly's going to track that and have the timing when we come back. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Are you tired of living with that awful joint pain in your knees, hips, back, and shoulder? Ready to get your life back? Call QC Kinetics now, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. These non-invasive treatments harness your body's own healing power to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. No drugs, no downtime, no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. Learn how all-natural advanced regenerative medicine can bring you lasting relief. QC Kinetics. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now, get a built Ford Tough F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 72 months, only at your local Ford dealer. When you step into the Bruce Company, it's special. You can feel it. Discover one-of-a-kind gifts and decorations from around the world. And treasures so unique, they'll be cherished for years to come. From sentimental to silly. From whimsical to wow. This year, all of my holiday gifts are coming straight from the heart. Thanks to the Bruce Company. Making your holidays bright since 1952. The Bruce Company on Parmenter Street in Middleton. Your holiday experts. I just love dancing, so I was always willing to dance through the pain. Since visiting the Good Feet store and wearing the orange supports and being pain-free now, my mood and my energy has drastically improved. Once that energy gets into you, double spins. <laughs> garage doors are what, number three on return on investments right now? A new garage door can raise the value of the whole street. When the neighbors start seeing your door, they're going to say, who did that? Precision did that. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. You want it, we got it, it's all here, Rosemont it. You want some ice time, a nice time, so good you post it twice time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some cheer, now I'll show you where you gotta be, tell you who you gotta see, who is gonna make you smile. You want it, we got it, it's all here, Rosemont. 
Enjoy the magic of the North Pole, just east of O'Hare, with miles of memories waiting to be made. To Rosemont it your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rosemont! Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Right now, an explosion heard nearly uh, 200 miles away. Find out what might have caused this terrible scene. Plus, Camp Randall's getting another makeover. And this one will keep the field clean of snow. And here's your first look outside this morning. Oh, it's a beautiful one out there. Nice and snowy, just in time for the holidays, Kelly. Sticking on those trees, that's that heavy wet snow this morning. A lot of that is now wound down, or at least moved down to the south and east. Still a few flakes of snow out there this morning. Some of those roads are a little bit slick as well. We have the first one forecast coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchine. Thanks for waking up with us. Yeah, you're waking up to some snow on the roads. Could be a little slick, not too serious, but something to slow down for. Yeah, you know, we've had the... Uh, uh, the uh, uh, DOT cameras, I keep uh, thinking of something else, but uh, the DOT cameras up, mainly the roads are wet. It's yeah. those secondary roads, the bridges, the overpasses that may have a little bit of snow on them, probably starting to get a little bit slushy with temperatures above freezing, but allow some extra time this morning off to a work or school. Right now our Doppler track, just a few flakes of snow in the Madison area, but the bulk of the snow, the accumulating snow is down to our south, basically out of Janesville, Beloit, now pushing down toward the north side of Chicago. Temperatures, as mentioned, we've just been sitting right at 32 this morning. So some of that snow sticking, especially on the grass and also those trees, some of those elevated roads, 33 right now in Fitchburg. Looking at cloudy skies, some flurries yet this morning, but any of the accumulating snow is done with. And we'll look at a mostly cloudy sky this afternoon. Temperatures will climb above freezing for the uh, late morning hours into the afternoon. We should head into the upper 30s later today. But if you are traveling about, uh, watch out for some of those snow-covered roads uh, this morning. Uh, by the 8 o'clock hour, most of that will be just slushy, just expecting wet roads for the noon hour. Looks like a nice warm-up for the end of the week, but we are talking about another storm system. This will be a stronger one if it hits us for the weekend. We'll talk about it coming in 15 minutes. All right, let's take another look at the roads this morning. This is the map from Wisconsin's DOT. To the north and the southwest, uh, lots of pink, kind of scattered all over the place. The pink on the map here indicates stretches that could be slippery it doesn't mean that they are it just uh it means that they might be a little slick uh, better be safe than sorry just take it a little easy out there uh we'll continue to have weather and traffic updates every 10 minutes here on news 3 now this morning breaking news a new video overnight of an explosion that rocked a virginia neighborhood take a look at this this is in arlington it all started with a search warrant for someone who was accused of shooting a flare gun at neighbors Police tried to make contact with the person over the phone and through a loudspeaker, but the suspect had barricaded themselves into a home. Officers forced their way in. What happens next isn't clear, but police say the suspect fired several rounds from what they think was a gun. Then this explosion. We do not know the condition of that suspect this morning. We're also keeping our eye on Washington, D.C. this morning. The Supreme Court continues discussing how to move forward in a case looking to settle the opioid epidemic. Yesterday, Supreme Court justices seemed conflicted about a bankruptcy plan for the maker of OxyContin. Richard Sackler and his family owned Purdue Pharma, which played a big role in the epidemic. They agreed to pay up to $6 billion to settle lawsuits and compensate victims. In exchange, the Sacklers themselves would be protected from more lawsuits while still getting to keep billions more. Attorneys for Purdue Pharma say the money dedicated to fighting the opioid epidemic is one condition of the protections in the plan. If the trustee succeeds here, the billions of dollars that the plan allocates for opioid abatement and compensation will evaporate. Creditors and victims will be left with nothing, and lives literally will be lost. The justices are considering whether the owners of Purdue Pharma can get the same bankruptcy protections their company received without having to seek personal bankruptcy as well. Despite the opposition protesting outside the court, 95% of victims agreed to the bankruptcy plan. Justices are expected to issue a ruling early this summer. Meanwhile, at the state capitol, a bipartisan bill is taking its first steps to become law. The bill would make it easier for DACA recipients to work and study in Wisconsin. These are the young adults who came to the U.S. as children under their parents from other countries. Current state law treats them differently than other immigrants. They have to pay out-of-state tuition for UW schools, which of course creates a much higher barrier for entry. DACA recipients also can't receive professional licenses or to become a nurse or a barber, for example.
And my dream is to become a middle school Spanish teacher in the greater Milwaukee area. Unfortunately, like the dreams of hundreds of DACA recipients across the state who want to become teachers, doctors, nurses, or dentists, my dream is continuously put on hold due to the lack of action from our state officials. The new bipartisan bill would remove that tuition restriction. Lawmakers say Governor Evers is excited to see the bill, so it's likely it'll get a vote as early as next year. Dane County Departments will be moving off the social media platform X, formerly Twitter. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi emailed department heads asking them all to stop posting on X. Parisi said it was because of an uptick in hate speech. That means the airport, the sheriff's office, and other county agencies won't be posting on there anymore. Parisi sounded confident, though, that you can still get important information. As county government, there are lots of ways of getting word out to folks. Um, you know, we have ways, certainly we work with our media partners. And it just didn't seem like a good place to be anymore, frankly. The shift will happen in the new year. Many users of organizations have scaled back or gotten completely off of X since controversial owner Elon Musk purchased the company. Well, if you didn't wake up from jet engines last night, you might tonight and for the rest of the week. This week and next, the Wisconsin Air National Guard is conducting nighttime F-35 flight trainings. They're taking off and landing at Truex Field. Area residents should expect to see or hear the jets around roughly 7 p.m. for the next three nights. Tuesday through Thursday. That's the same schedule for next week, too. Beloit College is opening up their admissions criteria, offering a guarantee for certain students. High schoolers from Dane, Rock, Walworth, and Greene counties are now guaranteed admission if they have a GPA of 3.0 or higher. High schoolers from four Illinois counties will also receive the same guarantee. Liberal Arts School is ensuring uh, tuition is not going to be more than that of UW-Madison. A year of tuition at Beloit College is currently $58,000. 6.36 now, Camp Randall's football field getting a facelift over the next couple of months. Yeah, so work just began to install a new multi-million dollar heated field for next season. They need to have this new field because of uh, the cold. And as Armand Rahman reports, a potentially longer season. The Badger football team may be finished tearing up the field for the football season, but now Camp Randall is ripping up the field literally in order to heat it up next year. Well, they made good progress today, um, so I, I would say within uh, two weeks, uh, the turf part of it will be out. Right now, Barry Alvarez Field is losing yards because Camp Randall hopes to play the long game by installing a new heating system underneath the turf. Uh, with the, the new college playoff, um, there's definitely the potential of having home games uh, later in the year. Um, those late season games uh, can be pretty cold and, and the field can come, become icy and hard and, and kind of slick. The existing turf, which was replaced last year, is being ripped up to lay a new sub base. It'll cost roughly $5 million to do that and put new turf back on top, looking exactly as it did before. No bigger W or end zone changes. The design uh, will be the, the consistent design that we've had uh, on the Camp Randall field in the past. Senior Associate Athletic Director Jason King says removing snow from the field costs about $100,000. But it's not just about the money or hosting a potential playoff game. I, I think that's part of the equation, but it also... Uh, even when we remove the snow on the field, a lot of times uh, the under layer it, uh, freezes and gets really slippery. Uh, and so that, uh, you know, by heating the field, uh, we'll eliminate those conditions. Once graduation rolls around, crews will pause work and cover the field like it always is. Then they plan to finish the new turf shortly afterwards. At Camp Randall, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. So this renovation would put... Uh, Camp Randall in line with other professional open-air fields like Lambeau Field in Green Bay. All right, it's 6.38 now. Kelly Slifka is keeping an eye on an accident on the Beltline that might back you up this morning, Kelly. Yeah, we had the uh, snow overnight. Uh, a little bit sloppy out there this morning. Some secondary ro roads a little bit slick, but we do have this accident. This is on the uh, Beltline. The eastbound lanes right there at uh, Whitney Way maybe causing some lane closures this morning. Well, the first warm forecast, including another storm for the weekend, coming up. Also ahead, we're live in the 608 this morning talking about Mad City and Rock County cocktails passports and why now was the time to get out and support local establishments. We're back after this. Don't miss the Smith Brothers Factory Authorized New Year's Sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! You've got this. 
You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers? Purchased. Doggy distractions? No expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft gray zone. So when you have to make a purchase, or seven, to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you. So you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank. Culligan Water takes pride in being your local water experts. We live here, work here, and dedicate our lives to improving our area's water. We deliver the world's best water treatment and the industry's best service to you. Culligan Water, your local water experts. Cobison Buses, now hiring. I'm Dina Noland. I drive for Cobison Buses. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. First day of school for my son. The fact that I get to bring him there and I can just park my bus right on the side and walk in, they don't, they don't mind that. They want you to be there for your family. I've always enjoyed working with kids. The opportunity to transport them in a bus, I enjoy doing it. Visit Cobison.com to apply. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County doesn't just build homes. We build financially strong families. Habitat homes financed through affordable mortgages allow hardworking families to break the cycle of poverty and invest in their futures. Your support changes lives. Please donate today. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! SSM Health and News 3 Now would like to invite you and your family to make a colorful connection this giving season. Go to channel3000.com to download a Time for Kids coloring sheet or find it in November's Madison Magazine. Add color and a kind message, then mail it to SSM Health. They'll share it with a hospital patient who can't be home for the holidays. And you might even see it on News 3 Now. Take time for kids and spread joy to others by making a colorful connection. News 3 Now this morning. Good morning. First morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio this morning. Definitely looking festive with the snow that we had overnight. This is that really wet snow, so it's sticking to a lot of the trees. Might fa make for a pretty scene, but it's also sticking to some of those roads this morning, especially the secondary roads. So allow a little extra time. Just slow it down. Maybe head out the door a few minutes earlier than you normally would. Not picking up a whole lot in the Madison area, but still seeing some of these very fine flakes of snow fall, uh, falling here in Madison. Just expecting some flurries for the rest of the morning uh, into the early afternoon hours. And we're talking about uh, upper 40s and low 50s Thursday and Friday. So after the snow we have now, talking about some unseasonably mild weather, feeling like early part of October later this week. Another storm system, though, will be moving in this weekend. A lot of uncertainty with it. But it will bring us a chance of some rain, maybe some snow showers. Now, this was a clipper system. This came in from Canada. They, typically, they, when they come out of Canada, they don't have a lot of moisture to work with, so it does not produce a whole lot of snow, and that's what we're seeing this morning. The system we're talking about later into the weekend will be coming in from the southwest. You see some of the reduced visibilities because some of these really fine flakes of snow mixed in with a little bit of fog this morning. 37 degrees expected today, close to our average. The sunrise at 713. So a few flurries this morning. Otherwise, temperatures continue to climb above freezing. So a lot of this snow will be melting. Any kind of road conditions. I know we've got some of those elevated surfaces probably have a little bit of snow on them, a little bit of slush. Might be a little bit greasy this morning. Those should improve fairly quickly as we go through the morning hours, but the clouds will stick around throughout the afternoon into the early evening and noticing we are staying above freezing at least through nine o'clock. Now we're talking about the weekend storm system. This is going to be a strong system that's going to move into the upper Midwest. As mentioned, it's coming in from the Southwest. That'll bring in a lot of moisture. Now a lot of uncertainty with it, but it looks like it could bring in some rain initially, warm enough for rain initially, but at some point, either Saturday night or Sunday, some of that changing over to some snow 
still way too early to talk about any kind of accumulation, but it's something we're going to keep abreast of and keep updating as we get a little bit closer to the uh, weekend. But this is one computer model. Noticing it has uh, rain over southern Wisconsin on Saturday. A little bit of snow starting to mix in Saturday night into Sunday morning as the storm system winds up down to our south. That would be the time frame of seeing some accumulating snow. As mentioned, still a lot of things to come together uh, for this to happen, but it's something we'll be watching for the upcoming weekend uh, going into uh, Saturday and Sunday. 32 right now in Madison, 34 in Janesville, 34 in Lone Rock. So many locations above freezing, but it's 31 in Wanakee and also Sauk City. So some of those bridges and overpasses might have a little bit of snow build up on them. Allow some extra time this morning. We're up to 40 tomorrow. Low 50s Thursday and Friday feeling like October as opposed to December. But that's out ahead of that storm that will bring us that mix of precipitation on Saturday, changing to all snow, and then moving on out early next week. And you do know temperatures do cool down by the beginning and middle of next week. Yeah, quite the roller coaster here. Kelly, thank you very much. Quarter to seven, we're in the 608 this morning with how you can support local establishments over the course of the next year. Might make for a good stocking stuffer. Josh Breider is live in Verona sharing this awesome opportunity this morning. Hey there, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're at Stone Porch Ale House in Verona, one of the newest establishments, a part of the Mad City Cocktails Passports. I've got them in my hand. They are out for 2024, and this is a great way for you to get out and support your local establishments, both here in the Madison area and also across Rock County, too. We've got both books with us this morning, and joining us this morning is Sarah Hi. Thomas with Stone Porch Ale House. Yep. And, of course, people might know you from Sugar River Pizza, so this is kind of your new business venture. Absolutely, so I don't just do pizza anymore. We got burgers and seafood and all that stuff too. So what made you want to come into this uh, end of business? Well, Ross and I were looking for some new adventure and this seemed like a good spot to try. It's not too far and I love this building. It's a beautiful spot to to host a neighborhood. There's really some rich history in this building and you Absolutely. guys have kind of crafted to make it your own. You know, what are you most excited for with this space? Really being part of the neighborhood. I think it's been awesome to have locals come in. We're within walking distance of their homes. It's kind of that neighborhood bar that we really wanted to see. You know, when you look at uh, being out in the community, obviously with Sugar River's success over the years, that's really what it's all about is community and getting yeah. out and to the people. Absolutely. And this is one of those places where you can come and hang out. We're a little bit smaller, not so much carry out and delivery, so we can do a lot of homespun recipes and things like that that are unique. So you guys just opened up this fall, and this will be your first time a part of the Mad City Cocktails Passport. Yep. Uh, you know, what made you want to be a part of a group like this? Well, you know, getting our name out there is so important when we're new like this. You know, Sugar River Pizza has much more history than Stone Porch Ale House has, so we need to start building that history. Um, and then incentivizing people to do something new. So. With the whole scavenger hunt, they can spend a day, kind of get some, get in some new places and, and see some new places. You know bars. what's fun is you guys are more friends than you are competitors with all these local establishments. You guys all Absolutely. have the same mission and that's to serve the people. Yep. And you love to see the people coming in and enjoying your food and your drinks. Yes, absolutely. And it's been great to be part of that community here in Verona and then even the surrounding area like Belleville, Mount Vernon, Mount Horeb, all those places. Wonderful. So obviously busy time here. We're getting into the holiday season. If people yep. want to come out and visit, when is the best time to do so? Um, the weekends are always hopping around here. Um, we have a lot of Christmas and holiday parties going on and a lot of specials for happy hours. So when you get done with work, Head on over here. Wonderful. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. We appreciate Thanks. your time, and it's good to see you again. Absolutely. We're not making pizza this time. We're belly up at the bar <laughs> or in the little nook, like you call it here this Absolutely. morning. So we love to see it here, guys. And hey, looking at uh, the Stone Porch Ale House right here in the book, if you want to come out here, you got the buy one, get one drink, and then you also have the $5 off deal for when it comes to food. So come on out here. And of course, there are dozens of establishments like this one across both the Madison area and Rock County that you can get out and support all through 2024 with this booklet. And I have all of this up on channel3000.com, making it super easy for you. Such a cool gift. It gets you out in the community. Sign me up. Josh Breider, thank you very much. Josh is always looking for inspirational ideas to share. You can share yours with him. He'll share it with everybody. Find him on social media or email. 648 coming up in the morning sprint. All your top headlines to start your Tuesday. Before we go to break, we want to wish a very happy birthday to Geneva Fuller. She turns three today. Happy birthday, Geneva. If you've got a little kiddo turning three soon, let us know so we can show their picture on TV.
sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. This time of year, we gather, we celebrate, and we remember the things that matter most. For us, that's you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care because the way you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health, know how much you matter to this world. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now, get a built Ford Tough F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 72 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, oh, no. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This Cyber Week is the best time to try Plexiderm at our starter price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Rediscover life without pain. SSM Health Orthopedics. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. New breaking video into the newsroom overnight of an explosion over Virginia. Look at this. This happened in Arlington. Police say they got a call for a suspect who was shooting a flare gun at people. They had to force their way into the person's duplex where they reported gunshots and then this explosion. A body found over 40 years ago in rural Indiana has been identified as a woman from Oregon, Wisconsin. 20-year-old Connie Lorraine Christensen was last seen in Nashville, Tennessee in 1982. Uh, what we know now was that her body was found in December of that same year near Jacksonburg, Indiana. Her identity was found using new forensic technology that matched her DNA to a relative. Madison police are looking for two suspects they say beat a worker for not giving them a pizza. A Little Caesars employee on Madison's west side was attacked Sunday night uh, by two people who arrived to pick up a pizza after the restaurant closed. Police say they waited for the employee to leave, then hit and kicked him, and then hit him with their car. The Iowa County Sheriff's Office is recommending a criminal charge for a staff member in the Iowa Grant School District. Sheriff's officials say that there is enough evidence to charge 30-year-old Kirby Grutz with child abuse recklessly causing bodily harm. The DA will decide whether to formally charge Groots. Despite our policy not to name someone until they're formally charged, we're naming Groots because of the nature of the allegations and his role as a public employee that works with children. Dane County Departments will stop posting on X, formerly known as Twitter, at the start of the new year. This is an order from Dane County Executive Joe Parisi. He sent it in an email to all department heads. He wants to move away from the platform due to an influx in acceptance of hate speech since Elon Musk took over the company. A new bill at the state capitol looks to even the playing field for DACA recipients. 
The bipartisan bill would change how these individuals get a higher education. Currently, DACA recipients must pay out-of-state tuition for a university and can't receive specialized licenses. This bill would change that. The Hawk for Peace group is back in Madison after a nearly three-year hiatus. The group disbanded over the pandemic after almost 30 years of what they say was putting pressure on those in power. They say they're coming back together over the ongoing wars in Ukraine and in Israel. Meantime, in the Middle East, the Israeli military has expanded its ground offensive and ordered a mass evacuation of a city in southern Gaza. This comes after many Palestinians were forced to evacuate from the north into this area. This has led to a densely packed population that's trying to avoid Israeli airstrikes. They're being told to evacuate, but many are saying they have nowhere else to go. Four candidates will take the stage for the fourth GOP debate tomorrow. Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Chris Christie will face off in Alabama. It'll be the smallest debate stage lineup so far this year. Frontrunner Donald Trump will skip the event, as he has all previous debates. House Republicans looking to launch an impeachment investigation against President Joe Biden. It could happen as early as this week. House Judiciary Chair uh, Jim Jordan told reporters yesterday the investigation of the president would look at potential charges of bribery, abuse of power, and obstruction. The sounds of fighter jets will fill the night sky for the next two weeks. This week and next, the Wisconsin Air National Guard is conducting nighttime F-35 flight trainings. They'll be taking off and landing at Truex Field. You should expect to hear the jets a few more times this week around 7 p.m. They'll return next week, Monday through Thursday. 2023's Trouble in Toyland report is out for the holiday season. Some of the most dangerous toys listed this year were water beads, which can easily be swallowed and choke a child. There was also a renewed focus on button battery toys, which are notoriously dangerous. If swallowed, button batteries can cause burns down the throat, which can continue even after removing the battery. Good like morning, five minutes away from a seven o'clock. Still a few flakes of snow across southern Wisconsin, but any accumulating snow is done with. But it did leave a little bit of a mess on some of those roads. So it's gonna be a little bit slushy for the kids off to the bus stop this morning. Make sure you have the boots, waterproof boots out there. Otherwise, we're just expecting a few flurries for the rest of the morning hours and temperatures in the upper 30s. So we'll be melting a lot of the snow today. 32 right now in Madison, 34 in Janesville, 32 in the Adels. Got reduced visibility, some really fine flakes of snow falling right now this morning. Temperatures rising into the upper 30s later today. We do warm up for the rest of the week. In fact, we're talking about low 50s on Thursday and Friday. That's out ahead of a storm that'll bring us some rain, eventually some snow toward the end of the weekend. Kelly, thank you very much. Stay with us, folks. More local news and weather coming up here on News 3 Now this morning.